Hi everyone, I am going to make an art journal page. Uh, if you are following my uh, channel, my videos, then this is my uh, newspaper art journal. And you probably forgot about it already because I haven't done anything um, in uh, quite a while. So I'm uh, going back uh, to it. This is great for playing around and experimenting what's the worst that could happen it can go to the trash if you don't like it and I'm planning on I want to do some kind of uh, roses uh, geometrical roses something like uh, uh, Rene Macintosh and we'll see how it goes I'm starting with a background that I want to uh, look like um, I don't know terracotta and I've got here several uh, I've got uh, several uh, colors uh, from deco art I have got Tuscan red yellow gold orange spice and tea gold and golden brown and I'm gonna play with this in the hopes that I'll achieve whatever I I'm seeing in my mind so we'll see what happens. It's a bit of uh, this uh, newspaper is uh, quite big, so it's quite uh, it's a little bit of problem to fit it all in in the frame. My phone keeps doing uh, zooming. Uh, although I didn't ask it and I can't find the feature that will cancel the zoom in so I'm hoping uh, you can still see what I'm doing and we'll see what happens I'm standing so I can also see what I'm doing as I said, this is quite a big piece. I'm starting in here in the middle. Uh, the only thing I've done is I'm always putting where the seam is. I'm putting uh, either a piece, gluing a piece of paper or putting masking tape. And then I've just gessoed the whole thing. It's easier to work uh, like this. If I wasn't going to paint, I uh, wouldn't have bothered. If it's only gluing uh, and doing some decoupage, you don't need to prepare the page with gesso. So here it is pre already prepared and I'm starting in the middle with the gold because I want some, like some light to come from the middle and I'm just moving and smearing paint I'm not trying uh, to blend much I am uh, going for uh, the brush strokes I'm what <laughs> looking at my page and looking at the screen of the of my uh, smartphone so I can see if you <laughs> what you can see so <laughs> I'm really hoping you can get what I'm doing here I will need to go inside the gold didn't take uh, quite well in the middle but for now I'm just uh, continuing with the other colors and then I'll get back inside I 
think I need more of this color and a little bit now from the Tuscan red I've got a, I'm kind of uh, taking from the other uh, colors it just more uh, adds more interest so I don't care if I have a little bit of this uh, golden brown with the red it just adds more interest and this kind of orange spice with the red again on the edges I'm just putting on the red it's not exactly the color that I was uh, looking for but for now I'm going with it and maybe later I will add another shade another uh, to make it look what I wanted it to look like okay I need more of the red and more of the orange spice and now I'm going to add, let's see, I'm thinking burnt sienna, maybe will help this uh, look more like terracotta. Let's see, first the red here, so it will be like the other side of the page. Okay, I'm taking from the burnt sienna and adding on top of the red because it's just too a uh, Christmas red for me, not what I was going for. just uh, really uh, going in and with the burnt sienna and the orange spice because I didn't like the red here wasn't what I was looking for more of the burnt sienna and more of I don't know antique gold and golden brown I'm mixing uh, the burnt sienna now with the golden brown and the um, antique gold and adding it to the mix here in the background. I'm just playing. Basically, I'm just playing. 
and you can do whatever you want. Okay, so this is my background. I'm moving it aside so it will dry. And now I'm moving along to the roses that I was uh, talking about. And let's see. Moving this aside. And I'm gonna take uh, just plain paper or daily paper so I can uh, do the roses and I want uh, like three sizes. I'm going to start by drawing uh, three circles. Use whatever round object you have. Let's see what else I have. And another size. This is, yeah, I can do this one. Three sizes. So, geometrical, now I'm not uh, trying, I'm just doing a, it's like so, I'm, as you can see, I'm not uh, trying very much to be accurate, uh, let's see, maybe like so, and another one yeah here is one rose let's do another one they don't have to be similar in how you draw the petals Yes, okay, so I have uh, three roses now. I want some, uh, you can take scrap uh, scrapbook paper, painting papers, whatever you want to make your roses with. I have here, uh, these are just uh, cardboards that I've uh, glued leftover napkins. I'm always doing it and I love how they turn out. These are just, uh, as I said, you can see these are just leftover paper napkins torn and glued down to this uh, cardboard. Um, the cardboard is even, it's just, uh, it was inside uh, blouses. Uh, were folded on it when we bought them so I'm, I'm always keeping uh, this stuff I want my roses to be from this uh, no not pink yeah I want them uh, in this color now uh, there is uh, several ways um, you can do this I'm going to use a carbon paper or tracing paper to uh, transfer the roses here you can uh, put uh, 
oil pastels and then tr um, making it uh, traceable to the page or you could uh, make on the back the roses like so and just <laughs> go with it like so but I want uh, to do this this way I'm gonna trace several sizes here I hope it will work because uh, there is texture from all the pieces that I glued so let's see if it worked yes so I'm going to trace a uh, several roses to here and then I'll come back I'm back and as you can see I've already uh, traced and cut in my most of my uh, roses I'm just I just kept the last one so you can see what I'm doing now I'm doing it freehand I'm not trying it uh, for it to be symmetrical I I like it when it's a bit crooked it, for me it seems more um, interesting and with more character if it's not a uh, symmetrical it is geometric uh, but I'm no Rene <laughs> Macintosh it just inspired me and I'm not even trying to to make the lines um, even they are at one side they are uh, thicker I think it uh, just adds to uh, the flower for the look of the petals and I'm it's also crooked because I have texture from the gluing of uh, uh, napkins and I've also uh, done several uh, like uh, flower buds this is the basic shape I've done again freehand nothing is uh, symmetrical or uh, measured and now I'm just cutting it out I've got another uh, page like this with the leftover pep paper napkins in greens and I'm gonna cut me a uh, trace and cut uh, leaf shapes out of it here we go so here are my flowers and now I've got this green page and let's see just simple flower shapes and as I said it doesn't have to be symmetrical if you want you can that's just how I prefer it so I'm gonna cut uh, all these pieces and then I'll come back I'm back and all the pieces are cut now is the stage where I'm just playing around with the placement of uh, the pieces and it's gonna uh, take me some time I don't know uh, where everything goes just as I said playing around that's half the fun and when I'm I've decided of the final placement I'll glue everything and then I'm going to do, take again the <coughs> sorry the permanent marker and draw uh, stems for the flowers 
so I'm gonna place and glue uh, my pieces and I'll come back hi I'm back uh, I glued down uh, the flowers and the buds but I haven't glued the leaves I'm not quite sure I like this green on my page so I'm leaving it be for now I'm just going to draw some uh, stems for my flowers something like that So uh, let's see, I still feel like I'm missing something, so if I'm going with <coughs> uh, inspired by Macintosh, then I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm going to continue with all kinds of graphic lines that will go with the stamps, and well, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Mm. I really, really don't know. Something like that. And again, I'm going to make them uneven and thicker on one side, thinner on the other, just to add interest. And let's see. I'll move it there closer in a minute so you can see what I've done. I'm sure I'm not in frame, as I said, don't have. Yeah. here that's what I'm doing and just playing around here so I'm gonna uh, do more lines like this and I'll come back I'm back and I'm finished with uh, lines and I've added a little bit more uh, drawn leaves and I just uh, took now acrylic paint, uh, burnt amber, and diluted it with water. And I'm just going to go over the edges of my page. <coughs> and I've diluted it a little bit uh, too much. Here we go. I just wanted to be more framed this is too big for going over with a uh, sponge and uh, with ink so I'm just using a darker color to go over the edges and just add some framing to my page and I can also go in and let smear a little if I think it's made it too harsh 
Mine's on my page. So basically this is it, this is my page and the only thing I'm thinking now that maybe I need to add like I'm doing the framing here with the sponge and the acrylic, maybe I need to go under my flowers and do a little bit of shading like so. gonna take a little uh, sponge that is smaller just so ah, not going so good okay something like that so you can see I'm just playing around nothing is accurate I'm not trying to do uh, exact things. So basically this is it and maybe let's see under the buds also I just need something yeah Usually for uh, this kind of shading, I would use either the Stabilo Oil or uh, one of my uh, lipsticks, but I've already had uh, this color for the border, so I'm using it. Well, I really like how it turned out. Basically, this is it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. And the next video I'm uh, going for, there is a giveaway because I don't know how, but I've reached a 2K. And... <laughs> There is also happy mail that I just got from Maria. So I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.